is the story of Heimdall and Ragnarok. Since the beginning of time, the great dragon of destruction Nidog has gnawed unceasingly on the roots of the great world he Drasil. It is said that when he gets through, all the nine realms will end. For eons, the gods have lived happily on the branches of Yadrasa without conflict. All of this changed when Baldur, the strongest man on earth, died at the hands of Loki, the trickster god of mischief. Worried that they too could eventually kick the bucket, Odin and his fellow gods captured Loki and his sons. Fenrir, the giant wolf, was bound by chains to a mountain in a faraway place. Jormungand, the great serpent, was imprisoned in the ocean and surrounded with crags. Loki himself was tied up by his youngest son's entrails to three rocks in a cave. A venomous snake was tied up above him and dripped venom onto him. His ever faithful wife Sing sat by his side and caught the venom in a bowl. But when she moved away to empty the bowl, the venom would fall onto Loki and his thrashing would cause the earthquakes of the human world. With the death of Baldur, Odin was worried about the fate of his fellow gods, so he seeked out a seer named Mima. To seek Mima, Odin traveled under the roots of Yggdrasil to the realm of the giants, Jotunheim. After sacrificing his right eye, Odin proceeded to drink from the Well of Wisdom. He obtained the knowledge that once Baldur died, Ragnarok shall fall upon the gods. Trembles began to shake throughout the Nine Realms, freeing Loki and his children and marking the beginning of Ragnarok. Now liberated from his chains, Loki gathered a massive army of giants and other horrendous beings and began to march to Asgard, home of the gods. Heimdall, guardian of the gods, sensing the approaching army, blew his Galjahorn to warn Odin. All throughout the Nine Realms, Galjahorn's blasts could be heard, and like booting up machines, the army of the gods hurriedly assumed their battle positions and prepared for the end of the world. Both sides met at the fields of Vigrid waiting for a battle cry to urge them into the battlefield. As Odin charged at Fenrir, the ginormous wolf opened his big, gaping jaws and swallowed Odin whole. Vidar, Odin's son, got revenge for his father by tearing Fenrir's jaws apart with his boots. Thor killed Jormungand, but then died of the serpent's extremely potent poison. Heimdall and Loki both died, pierced by each other's weapons. As the Fire Lord so engulfed the world in flames, and as the two wolves ate the sun and the moon, Nidor finished chewing through the roots of Yggdrasil, plummeting all the nine realms into oblivion, and bringing an end to the world, an end to Ragnarok.